नमस्कार अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू जॉइनिंग यू टूडे आई एम डुपर कुल श्रेष्ठ आई एक्सटेंड माई वॉम ग्रीटिंग्स टू ऑल दोज वॉचिंग अस लाइव ऑन आर ई विद्या चैनल नंबर ट्वेल्व एंड ऑल्सो दोज हु आर कनेक्टिंग विद अस थ्रू आर यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज एन सी ई आर टी ऑफिशियल दिस इज आर टीचिंग लर्निंग इंटरवेंशन सेशन एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज द रेड ट्रैप चैप्टर फोर फ्रॉम क्लास ट्वेल्थ एंड टू गिव इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन दिस टॉपिक येस joining us our expert divya gupta mentor teacher directorate of education delhi welcome ma'am thank you and we have with us aniket interpreter welcome aniket and viewers if you have any query related to our topic the rat trap you can call us and the number is 8800400 डबल फोर जीरो फाइव फाइव नाइन आई रिपीट डबल एट डबल जीरो फोर फोर जीरो फाइव फाइव नाइन एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो ड्रॉप अ मेल एंड आर मेल आई डी इज डी टी एच डॉट क्लास ट्वेल्थ एट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट इन एंड येस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रेड ट्रैप एंड इट साउंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग और वॉट वी हैव इन दिस चैप्टर वॉट इज थीम ऑफ द चैप्टर वी आर ऑल गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद दिव्या गुप्ता मैम So, ma'am, can we start? Yes, let's start. All right. So, uh, when teachers begin this lesson, they can start talking about uh, what a rat trap is. What learners understand by a rat trap? Have they ever seen a real, uh, you know, a rat trap? Have they used it in their homes? And then uh, there could be a talk about uh, whether it is cruel to use a rat trap. uh you know because it's only unassuming animals who are looking for food and we catch them uh, so is it cruel or is it justified to use rat traps and yeah. you know if then children say that it's justified then you yeah. can uh, probably throw another question at them and say how would you feel if some day right. rats became all powerful and <laughs> developed human traps so then yeah. what how would you feel about it so there yeah. can be a talk like that to establish what a rat trap is and how it works yes. uh while this is happening you can also take to class uh, a real rat trap like i have here yes so this is what a rat trap uh, looks like and you can take it to class and you know children can see that you know you this is this is where this is a, there's a little hook where you attach <laughs> cheese or a piece of food and with a yes. with any little movement you know when the rat tries to go in to get get the, get that food the door closes and it's uh, trapped so this is what a rat trap looks like and we all have done this at home <laughs> yes <laughs> i i i do believe yeah. that some of them yes are familiar with it uh after which we can come to the story that we have today yes So the setting of our story is it takes place in Sweden it's a country in Europe uh, it takes us to a Swedish village the story today it takes us into a forest also and to a forge a forge is a black is a place where a, a blacksmith works okay. and uh, then we come to the theme of the story yes. so all the story is written by this person who has written this story her name is Selma Lojolof uh, all the stories that she has written they all come with the same universal yes. theme that there is essential goodness in human beings and when we appeal to that goodness when we yes. appeal to that kindness with the kindness within ourselves it is always awakened yeah so that is the theme next and we have some characters here yeah So, so uh, there are many characters. In many characters, story. yes. Uh, so the primary character, the protagonist of the story, is this rat trap seller. Uh, now this man, he makes rat traps using material which he begs for, you know, in stores or in farms. He begs for materi material, material, yeah. and he uh, makes these rat traps and sells them. Uh, and still, you know, he doesn't have enough money, so he has to, you know, sometimes beg for money. Sometimes he steals when he gets the opportunity. He steals also. Okay. The next character in the story is an old man who is also a crofter. Uh, a crofter is somebody who rents his small farm to other people for work. And then uh, we have a master blacksmith and his helper at uh, Romsha uh, Iron Works. Then we have an iron master who owns this Romsha Iron Works. and then we have the iron master's daughter whose name is edla wilmanson yeah. we don't know anybody else's name in the story except for uh, edla yeah so this is the setting the theme and the characters so now we will now discuss the 
storyline yes okay, what it is about uh, the plot what we yeah. could call so a story essentially you know you can you can um, sort of uh, divide it into different uh, categories uh, you know it would be setting uh, theme characters and plot yes. so the plot of the story is that uh, uh, before this plot i would like to show this uh, picture also yes. this is romsha uh, it is written differently and it is uh, called romsha pronounced romsha the little village in sweden that is a setting of our story today it's a picture of that village Okay. The village has a population of only 306 people even today. Oh. So it's a very small yes. tiny village, very yes, right. very few people. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And this is the setting of our story. And now we come to the storyline or the plot. So like I was saying, this is a, a homeless man who sells rat traps and because sometimes he doesn't still make enough money, he begs or steals. Hmm. Uh, because his life is so bleak, because his situation is so sad, uh, he he's homeless and he has no money, he's constantly struggling to get food and heat, basics of life. He believes that all of this world is nothing but a big rat trap. Yes. And uh, he felt that the world offered riches and comfort exactly as the rat trap offers cheese. And the moment you try and get that, you know, that cheese or let yourselves be tempted, then everything came to an end. So, you just said that uh, he feels like the world is red trap. So, uh, why he does feel like? He is embittered by his experiences, okay. you know. Uh, somebody who is happy and well provided for uh, may not feel that way. Uh, it is because he lives in a constant state of deprivation and he is so bitter towards the world that he doesn't even recognize kindness when he sees it. So, uh, he feels that uh, all the world is a rat trap. Okay. The world had of course never been very kind to him uh, and you know th therefore it was uh, you know it made him happy to think of the world in this way. Yeah. So, uh, one evening he has no home we have repeatedly said that one evening uh, he was looking for shelter he knocks the door uh, of this house and an old man opens the door and happily gives him shelter because he has neither family nor children nor neither wife nor children he lives alone and he is very happy to have company. The old man welcomes him into his house, shares his food with this man, uh, the rat trap seller and not just uh, his food, the old man also shares a lot of information. So, he tells him where he used to work, what he does now, how he made money and uh, surprisingly, very surprisingly, he also tells him that he has a 30 kroner uh, okay. stashed away in his house. Now, uh, this must have sounded very incredulous to this uh, rat trap seller, hmm. you know that in this small house somewhere there is th 30 kroner. So, the old man actually goes inside his house and brings this little pouch and shows him the money. And okay. uh, after that, uh, yeah. until bedtime, both of these men, they play a game, uh, a card game called Mulis. Uh, the there is this interesting thing about uh, lessons that come from different cultures. You learn so many new words from their language. Okay. Uh, so, Mulis is a card game. Can you think yeah, of, yeah. can you think of a card game in our language? Mm, let me think, I will take a moment. A flash card or something like that? No, 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 a card game, like a proper 52 cards, you know. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, any, yeah. any card game, can you, can you think of any card game? <laughs> there is an old card card game called chopper you know there's another okay. you know so there, there, there in different languages you know people will still play the same games and they will okay. have different names great so yeah. a uno card something like that uh, something like a uno card yes <laughs> yeah. uh, okay so the next morning uh, both of these men left the old man's house uh, the old man goes to work while this uh, rat trap seller makes it uh, you know to his way. Then he comes back, breaks the window uh, near which the money pouch is hanging and okay. steals the old man's money. Okay. And to avoid being caught, hmm. he leaves the public highway and he goes into the woods, into the forest. Okay. Once inside the forest, he lost his way. He walks on and on and on the entire day and towards the evening, he realizes it's a December evening. So, it's cold and it's dark and he realizes that after having walked almost an entire day, he's still not very far from where he had started. Yeah. This makes him, you know, uh, 
begin to despair and feel really uh, sad and you know and, and he feels that it is because he stole that man's money hmm. that he has now lost his way in the woods and this forest you know began to seem like a prison to him from which he'll never be able to escape okay. now he was dead tired and uh, he had nowhere to go and uh, the night was uh, you know closing in upon him and he was really despairing uh, when he heard hammer strokes from an from a nearby iron mill so he understood that if there is a if there's an iron mill and there are hammer strokes of course yes. there are people inside it yes so he gathered the last bits of his courage and he started to walk towards uh, this iron mill uh, he finds that it is called the romsha iron works and he asks the master blacksmith for shelter okay. now the master blacksmith you know he's used uh, to seeing such vagabonds okay. so he allows him to come in without a word you know he just allows him to come in and he he's also not very interested in talking he's so tired so all he does is he goes uh, inside the iron mill and he's you know goes to sleep in front of the fireplace okay. he's so cold and wet from his uh, sojourn in the woods that his clothes uh, you know have steam coming out of them so he's in a really bad place right now but uh, he goes to sleep now uh, he lays sleeping in front of the fireplace when he was awakened by the owner of romsha iron works a rich iron master he comes in and he uh, you know mistakes this tramp for some old acquaintance okay. you know uh, and he says oh it's you nils olof you know so he takes the name of that other uh, acquaintance that he's mistaking him for hmm. and he wakes him up now the tramp knows that he's not olof he knows that hmm. but he plays along and you know talks to the iron master about how bad days had befallen him hmm. and you know feeling the greatest sympathy now this iron master asks the tramp to come to his manor he has a beautiful big manor and he says hmm. you come with us and celebrate Chris christmas with us okay. uh, bad days have befallen you hmm. but now you've met a friend hmm. so let me take you home with me and we'll celebrate christmas together this man knew that he had stolen money and he was running away and he did not obviously want to be caught so, so uh, still there's no change in his uh, you know his, his ways yeah yes <laughs> uh, he's not he, he he will learn his lesson probably some you know a little bit uh, you know uh, you know into the story right yeah. now he's just worried about getting caught yeah. so he thinks that he if he goes to the city if he goes to the manor uh, he could get caught there yes and he refuses to go uh, with the iron master the iron master uh, pursues a little bit but then he leaves for the day and he tells the blacksmith he says uh, i feel aaj ye aapke paas hi rehna chahte hain and he leaves him and he goes the next morning he sends his daughter hmm. edla to pursue this man to come home with them and the main character edla uh, uh, edla is his daughter yeah. he sends edla to uh, bring this uh, fellow home with them uh, with her so edla goes and she again requests him to come and celebrate christmas with them and uh, now he was so touched by this uh, you know this gesture that he says i did not know that you would bother with a person like me miss it's so kind of you to have come hmm. so uh, when you know this is the point where he gives in where he feels that a lady has now come to invite him he must not refuse he goes yeah back so at the manor yeah. yes you were saying so they are the people who has their kindness to you people shows their kindness so we can change anybody you know if show kindness to somebody yes so we can change the nature of the person and the circumstances the situation of the person true uh you will see a greater development happening because of the kindness uh, that this lady shows to him yeah so now back once they're back at the manor now uh, they have this guy to you know they get this guy to shower to get a hair cut to you know shave his face now he's looking a lot better than he looked when they found him Yeah. but now he is also very instantly recognizable <laughs> so the iron master uh, recognizes him and he asks him what is the meaning of this uh, how dare you cheat me betray me or you know how dare you uh, lead me into believing that you are my friend yeah. uh, so he justifies he says see i did not want to come here it was you and your daughter who pursued me hmm. and uh, i did not say i was all off you mistook me from him i, I just played along okay. and more importantly he says uh, today i got tempted by this rat trap of comfort that you offered me hmm. tomorrow you could get tempted by something bigger and then you could also fall into a rat trap 
so it is merely yeah. you know uh, my bad time it could also befall you so hearing this uh, the ain master started laughing and he said okay okay we are not calling the sheriff In initially he threatened to call the sheriff he said to i'll call the sheriff on you you lied to us hmm. so he said uh, you know if you want to call the sheriff that's another thing but you know it's just uh, a bad day that i was having so uh, the ain master good humoredly you know laughed at it and he said theek hai we will not call the sheriff but you leave my property as soon as possible now uh, while the iron master said you leave my property as soon as possible the daughter edla uh, believed that this man deserved one day of kindness in the whole year so she went to her father and she said this man has no home he has no family he has no way of uh, uh, you know earning an income he relies on begging and stealing uh, not stealing they didn't know about stealing hmm. uh, he relies on you know Uh, some means to earn his livelihood whatever they are and he has uh, you know no hope of celebrating christmas and we promised him a christmas so yeah. let us give him the prom uh, promised christmas and yeah. then he can leave yeah. uh, and at this the father says oh my god you preach worse than a pastor <laughs> fine now that you have uh, you know pursued me uh, i will let him stay for one more day so now this person uh, is invited for christmas headline invites him and he's you know made to stay for one more day Yeah. so he stays he eats with them uh, he celebrates christmas and the next morning uh, he is still asleep when the father and the daughter ain master and edla they leave for church okay when they return they see that this man is gone but he has left a few presents for them okay. so what are those presents we will just see the one thing that he has left is this letter that you now see on the screen Yeah. I'm going to read this for you. Uh yes. children. Uh it says honored and noble miss since you have been so nice to me all day long as if I was a captain I want to be nice to you in return as if I was a real captain. Yes. For I do not want you to be embarrassed at this Christmas season by a thief. But you can give back the money to an old man on the road side. who has the money pouch hanging on the window frame as a bait for poor wanderers this is a very important quote we will be discussing this in a little bit yeah the rat trap and he also leaves one rat trap for the girl for edla and he says the rat trap is a christmas present from a rat who would have been caught in this world's rat trap if he had not been raised to captain because in that way he got power to clear himself written with yes. friendship and high regard captain von stahl yeah so uh, here what i get from this you know okay he they made his day full of happiness kindness and uh, shows how important he is as a person mm. so th all this made him a changed person Yeah. Yes. So Edla's kindness was something that he had never experienced before. You know, nobody had ever been kind to him, hmm. and that is why, like I said at the beginning, he is so bitter towards the world because yes. nobody has been kind to him. Now, yes. this uh, young girl is the first person who has shown uh, so much kindness and warmth towards him, in spite of or because of his circumstances. Yes. So he says that. it is because you treated me like a captain that i want to behave like a like captain a captain yes uh, he, i i don't believe that he would have left a gift to anybody before this in his life but yes. here he yes. leaves a rat trap for edna he uh, leaves a letter for edla and um, uh, you know more importantly he leaves that stolen money to be returned to the old crofter so uh, he is behaving like the captain he is behaving like a gentleman because he was uh, treated like a gentleman Gentle. even if uh, by mistake hmm. and he says the rat trap is a christmas present from a rat who would have been caught in this world's rat trap if he had not been raised to captain so he says edla raised him to the position of a captain and if she had not done that he would have remained a rat Same greedy person. to you know yes. uh, f catch things get tempted and you know uh, get caught in the world's rat trap so uh, he says when you raised me to captain you gave me the power to clear myself you know and yes. you gave me the power to not become trapped 
any longer ma'am if we think closely then we can also find ourselves in such situations you know in a present situation like a flat trap situation where we are you know trapped in our own thoughts we are trapped in this materialistic worlds and as you just said ke uh, you know when things are not good you know we 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 started doing bad things and we became you know a negative person so how what would you suggest to students you know if uh, there are circumstances not in your favor and not in the favorable condition so how one should behave i i speak about it often in my classes and uh, i'll say he say it here again today circumstances will not always be in our favor that is what life is yes but we should not allow that to you know change us as who we are it, while it's easier said than done uh, i think one key to not uh, you know get trapped in the rat trap of the world in you know to quote this lesson yeah. and to use this as con- context is to remember that if your good days did not last your bad days won't last also yes. you know yes. eventually uh, you know days will change and there'll be better days to see so uh, when you are having bitter experiences as all of us do we shouldn't lose hope and we should not allow that to uh, you know change us as people i think that's very important yes so be a person you are don't change yourself in any condition or any situation don't change yourself out of despair yeah don't feel ab to kuch nahi ho sakta because aisa nahi hota hai there is always hope, hope. there is always you know uh, f- you know uh, chances to you know there there are always chances for things to get better they yes. do always get better you know yes uh, uh i i don't know if i should say this here but i recently came across a very nice uh, quotation on the internet which i want to quote here yeah bahut simple si baat hai uh itni simple ki aisa lagta hai isme batane wali kya baat hai lekin ye fact mujhe main jab maine suni do teen baar to mujhe laga ye to bahut achhi baat hai to kisi ne kaha ki mujhe mere kisi bade ne ye baat batayi ki zindagi mein kuch bhi ho jaye na beta to kuch nahi hota deeper meaning so yeah. you know have a positive outlook hmm. and kuch bhi ho jaye wo itna bada nahi hota hai ki for you to become bitter you will grow through whatever you go through aapki life se bada kuch bhi nahi hai ye life aapke paas hai exactly. ye blessing hai aur iske accordingly we have to move right yeah um so now this is uh, on the screen now you see a uh, gift box this is the gift box this is the gift that he left uh, for edla uh inside this uh, you know was a rat trap and then uh, there were these three 10 uh, kroner bills uh, you know badly folded and he left them inside the rat trap for edla to return to the old crofter i want students to also take a closer look at this kroner bill and notice the differences that uh, you know any differences that you can see from the indian currency rupee note yeah so this is one now we have uh, keywords yeah blacksmith forge compassionate and so we have three main keywords for today and now ma'am will assign you homework and uh, what we have in today's homework mm, i'll discuss read and discuss these questions so the first is uh, how does the rat trap seller interpret the acts of kindness shown by the old man the iron master and his daughter now all three of these people have been very nice to him yeah but the way he has interpreted it we can see it in his letter at the end you know the old man please return the money to the he says please return the money to the old man who has hanged a pouch of money on his widow frame as a bait for poor wanderers so he okay. thinks that money or any comforts in the world they are all a bait you know and if you get Uh, you know baited hmm. by them then you are like this little rat that gets trapped right so how does he interpret the acts of kindness shown by the old man the iron master and his daughter then 
The second question is what are the instances in the story that show that the character of the Iron Master is different from that of his daughter in many ways. So as we read the story, we realize that these two people are very different, you know. He says, you leave the home immediately, my property immediately, you cheated me. While Adla says, let us, you know, uh, ask him to stay for Christmas. So, uh, and then the third question is, uh, what made the rat trap seller finally change his ways? So, uh, these are the three questions. Yeah, and we have uh, modified homework as well. We have modified homework. That says, uh, the rat trap seller does not respond warmly to the acts of kindness shown by the old man, the iron master and his daughter. He is not very warm towards how they are treating him. Why is that? Then, what are the words that come to your mind when you think of the characters of the iron master and his daughter? draw two mind maps and see the differences between them. I feel this activity is especially good for children who are learning to write, you know, who are not fluent writers, who are not free writers. Uh, drawing a mind map gives them a lot of vocabulary immediately. So, that yes. helps. So, you know, you could start uh, with all the words that occur to you when you think of the Iron Master, you know, you could say that he's short tempered, but you could also say that he's forgiving. You could say that he's warm. He's also friendly, you know, he sees an acquaintance and he picks him up and brings him to home, to his home, you know. Yes. So, uh, he's also warm and friendly. Then, when you think about Edla, his daughter Edla, uh, what, are, what are all the words that occur to you? So, she's compassionate, she's sharing, she's generous, yes. she gives his father's suit in which he's dressed to the man, to the rat trap seller yeah, as yeah. a Christmas present. Yeah. So, she's also generous and she's kind. Yeah. So, all the words that you can think of, draw mind maps and then see the differences between these two characters and then if you are able to, uh, you know, if you know, you can try to write it in the form of a paragraph, but a mind map is a very, uh, you know, helpful way of starting. Okay. Uh, then the third question that we have is, uh, what made the rat trap seller finally change his ways? Think of the effect that kindness has on you and answer. So, once you relate it with yourself, it just becomes a little easier to answer. Yes. So, this is our homework for today. This is your homework for today and you can submit this homework in this format. You can see the format. Homework submission format, name of the student, write your name, class, school name and address, your school name and address, then expert and teacher name, you can write Divya Gupta and then date of the session and then your photograph and it is optional if you want to place it then you can do it otherwise it is okay and uh, where you have to submit this homework yes you can see the mail id flashing on your screen this is dth.class12 at ciet.nic.in thank you so much ma'am for joining us or uh, and you know you explained this story in such a beautiful manner i mean this is really and uh, if I talk about if I say the moral of these stories is if you do you know uh, your good deeds can awaken goodness in anyone yes. at any time That's so true. we can do we can keep doing it we can keep doing our good deeds and uh, we can change any person we can yes yes and thank you so much Aniket for joining us any message ma'am you want to give to your students now uh, like I said in the story while I was teaching, uh, there will be bitter experiences in life. Don't allow them to change you. Allow them to uh, make you grow and evolve, but don't allow them to uh, make you bitter towards life. Life is, uh, you know, a combination of good and bad, of sweet and bitter. So, allow yourself both and grow through whatever you grow th go through and with this uh, and with this uh, beautiful lines i will wind up this session and uh, joining thank you so much ma'am and Anikith for joining us and before i leave i have an announcement to make and that is related to ncert textbooks and ncert textbook for the session 2023 and 24 are available throughout the country and you can directly 
purchase these books from the sales counters located at Guwahati, New Delhi, Bangalore, Kolkata and uh, Ahmedabad and these sales counter will be functional from 9.30 am to 6 pm and uh, if you want to order these textbooks you can do that also and for that uh, you need to visit our website ncertbooks.ncert.gov.in and if you want the PDF version of these books you can visit eparshala diksha and ncert website and if you want to know more about our uh, authorized vendors please visit ncert.nic.in with this i'm nupur signing off take care namaskar